What if I was to tell you that in this shipping container, you can grow 2.5 acres of fresh local food? That's right, 1,000 heads of lettuce per week, 200,000 ounces of food in a year, and it has the ability to grow up to 500 different types of crops. It's happening. It's happening inside this container. We're growing it hydroponically. And compared to traditional agriculture, we're using 99% less water, 99% less land. There's no herbicides. There's no pesticides. The food doesn't have to travel. It's fresh. It's local. It's ready to eat the moment it has been harvested. Straight onto your plate. And because we put that farm in a, in a container, we can send that anywhere in the world. We can ensure that you have access to be able to grow in any climate, at any time, for year-round access to fresh food. We really are moving the farm, not the food. And I think that really is what farm to table should be. And the company I work for, Freight Farms, we're the ones producing these containers. In fact, we pioneered the industry by building the first one 10 years ago. And we now have a, a global network of over 500 growers across 39 countries and 49 states within the US. And we're part of a category you might have heard of called vertical farming, or controlled environmental agriculture. And essentially, that's using technology to control our growing environment. And that's incredibly important if we're going to provide resiliency against climate change and supply chain. How we do it at Freight Farms is we grow in vertical panels, and we basically replicate the climate indoors. So for light, think LEDs and a dynamic use of those. The air inside, we control the environment. And then nutrients are delivered to the base of the plants through water. That's the hydroponic element, the soilless agriculture. And all of this is controlled from the palm of your hand in an operating software we call Farmhand. And that essentially allows you to monitor, to track, to program recipes. And the great thing about that is, across this distributed network, all the data is then coming back and being aggregated by us centrally, and we're then able to push it out back through the net network to continuously improve the performance. So I know all this sounds you know, great use of technology, and I'm sure you're wondering, is this really, really required? And the answer is a categoric yes. And I'll give you three really important reasons. One is that climate change resilience. The population of the planet is growing and growing, and the demand for food is getting greater and greater. Yet we're running out of land, and we're running out of water. It simply isn't sustainable, and we need to find ways to increase production of food and not be reliant on water and land. And ultimately, we have to control the environment so that we're not um, dependent on the external environmental factors. Secondly, food security and supply chain stability. I think you'd be quite shocked at the distance your food is traveling within the US. Most salads are, are made or grown within California, and they're traveling an average of 1,500 miles to get to someone's plate. A country like the Bahamas is importing a billion dollars worth of food a year. It just isn't sustainable or even common sense to be moving food that far around the world and around the country when we have an ability to control uh, the local point of production. And thirdly, food access. There are so many more food deserts in the US and the world that you might think, and so many climates around the world where the soil just isn't good enough to grow, the conditions aren't good enough to grow. And that's why we're able to reach the hot climates of Tasmania and Australia, or in the Middle East, and then also in the harsh winters of northern Sweden. But perhaps 
Even more important than the food we can grow is the things we can grow beyond just food. Because we're able to move the farm all across the world and the country, we're able to create opportunities in local areas and communities that don't necessarily exist anymore. Here, here in the picture, an amazing um, customer of ours, Freight to Plate, the Scala sisters, um, Mary and Catherine within Chicago, and they're able to build a local business that meets the demand for fresh local food, but also creates job opportunities and creates revenue and rejuvenates the community that they're in. And certainly for me and the team, this is one of the most rewarding aspects of being able to be part of regenerating communities that need that help. We also have a really strong presence within the nonprofit sector. I would say for me personally and the team, this is something that really motivates us every day to keep growing. Because if I give a couple of examples, we work with an amazing charity, Lotus House in Miami, which is a women's shelter, helping people get back into work, get back into routine. And there's so many therapeutic benefits that come from this sort of growing and allow people to re-engage with a purpose, and as I said, a daily, weekly routine. Education is another huge category for us. We're in 39 colleges across the US. We're able to fit into ag tech programs. We're able to deliver that active learning. And a lot of the colleges and schools we work with say we really are a living, a living lab that really helps people understand the, the next level of um, technology within agriculture and food security. And then thirdly, children. We can reach children early. We work very closely with the Boys and Girls Club of America, and we have a number of units within those and that is probably the best example of how we are giving new educational opportunities to kids. And then at the end of a day's learning, they can go into the cafeteria and eat the greens that have literally been grown and harvested one meter away. So what I hope I've been able to convey is why container farming is so important and why what we do is so important and rewarding. Because we're able to tackle those global big issues of climate change resilience, supply change resilience, but we're also able to have an impact at a local level by helping people build businesses, regenerate communities, but most importantly, provide fresh local access to food. Thank you.